Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Christina and I'm the creator here from Modern Flower Creation. I don't know why I said from. Anyway, uh, today we are making some paper flowers using designs from Cricut Design Space. So I don't know if you've ever seen this, but I'm sure you have actually. If you're if you're new to Cricut, probably not, but if you are a Cricut user, I'm sure you've seen these beautiful rolled paper flowers. And let me switch over to my camera here. Okay, so we will be making these like rolled paper flowers. They're super, super pretty and they're super cute. And this is the size that I like to make them. So you can see them right there. But this is the size that I like to make them. So the design, I guess, not I guess, again, there are these right here. They're from Cricut Design Space. I can show you my um, full screen or my, uh, let me see here, my Design Space. Let me show you Design Space. I was already cutting just to save time. Uh, but basically today we are gonna be making these rolled paper flowers, these 3D paper flowers. Uh, I used it for a shadow box project not that long ago. Um, actually, maybe a while ago. It's on here if you want to. Uh, I have the link also down in my um, in the description below. But I made the this uh, shadow box with paper flowers, and I wanted to give this to um, my my daughter's grandma. Uh, so. We made this, I think it was, ah, 2019. There you go. Uh, I, I had my oldest write, I love you, grandma, mom. And then my my oldest wrote Cece and Kim. Those are my daughter's name. And we put vinyl on top of the uh, shadow box. But you can see that these are the flowers that I used. I probably won't be making the entire thing just because I don't have the time. Um, not I don't have the time, but I mean, like <laughs> it would be, it would take a while, uh, but maybe who knows? Uh, so you'll be making these, uh, the design, as you can see here, all the materials are here. If you want to like recreate something like this or similar to this, I have all of the materials here. Um, and yeah, so let me go back to um, here. So this right here, this is the design, uh, the 3D flower. If you go on Cricut Design Space, just search for 3D flower and you'll it'll pop up this one right here. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go back and see if I have the um, the actual like name of the design. I don't think I do. Uh, and I always forget how to get it from Design Space. So if you're if anyone's watching, let me know what how I can find that because I have no idea I don't remember uh but yeah so this so obviously you'll need cardstock so I'm using this cardstock it's pretty super pretty color this is like a peach and then this is a salmon these are like my favorite favorite um colors right here well one of them uh this is I think it's like 68 pound cardstock so the thicker the pound the um or sorry, not the thicker, but the, the bigger number the pound is, the thicker the paper will be. So 67 pound cardstock is decent uh, for paper flowers. Typically, I use 65 pound from Michaels, like the Recollections pack. Um, but this is not from Michaels. This is, I believe it's by Spring Hill, uh, which you can find, find it at officesupply.com. So the cardstock, and then this is the standard grip mat, the green one. To use for cardstock. I'll be using um, some glue sticks, these mini glue sticks, and then of course a glue gun. And then I do have the shadow box, which is this one right here, and it's kind of filthy because it's been in the craft pantry. I like to call my closet the craft pantry. <laughs> um, one of my one of my uh, community members, followers from Instagram called it a craft pantry. So ever since then, I've been calling it a craft pantry, but it's like, it's just a craft closet. But this uh, shadow box is from Michaels. So you can kind of see the dust, not kind of, maybe you can see, maybe not. Uh, it's covered in dust and I ran out of Windex. So I, um, well, well, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see if I get to use it or not, but I'll be doing a shadow box and I'll be putting these in there uh, and making a heart. I think I, I needed, let's see how many, I don't remember, let's see, in here I used, oh, let me show you what I'm, what I'm seeing, 
So, no, not that one. What is it? In the in my blog, if you go to my blog, um, I have here. Let me show you. Actually, I don't think I'll be able to show you. That's fine. Let me just count them really quick. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven of these paper flowers that I'll be using. So we'll just roll them up. So, okay, let's send it to the Cricut machine. So I'm going to click on make it. I did, like, I do have the four next to each other just because I was using 12 by 12 um like 12 by 12 paper, but this paper that I'm using is letter size. So it's 8.5 by 11. So you won't get four in one piece of paper. You'll only be able to get two. You can fit four if you uh, size this down, but I don't know if you want to do that because just this size right here, let me see if I can show you. This size right here already makes like this tiny little one. So if you go smaller, the paper flower will be even more like smaller. So we're not going to do that. Um, okay. We're going to click on mat, click on continue. I'm using the 12 by 12 mat and mine is, I think mat four. And I'm just gonna, again, because I'm using letter size, I'm going to make sure that they both fit into that. So 11 by 8.5, this one, I'm going to move a little bit like that. Okay. So then I'm going to click on continue and it's going to connect with my, I'm using my Maker 3, but you can use your Explore or your other Maker or whatever machine you have, it'll work. So, except for the Joy. I don't think the Joy will fit this size. Maybe it maybe it's slightly smaller. Click on Medium Cardstock. That's like one of my favorite materials to use or that I use the most, Medium Cardstock, 80 pound. I do like to change the pressure to more when I'm working with cardstock. Um, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to uh, place the cardstock on the mat, and then I'll just like show you some techniques, I guess, that I have when I'm using um, or when I'm creating rolled paper flowers. So once you have that there, if you have a brayer, which I forgot to get it, but now I have it, this one right here. You can just use it to roll your cardstock in there. If you don't have one, that's fine. You can just use your hands, but like that, you just roll it on your mat. And then you're gonna wanna put it in there in your cooking machine, slide it in, feed it in. Click on this one. This is the load slash unload button. So click on that one. And now it's gonna start cutting. Like I said, I already have these cut, but I want to show you how I do it because other people do it differently. And it also like, I don't like mine super, super open. I, I think this is like the perfect, uh, roll paper flower. So that's how I like to do it. So I'll show you. Okay. Now it's, it's loaded in. I'm going to click on go, which is that one right here. And then I'm gonna use this quilling tool right here. I think you can't find this on Cricut's website anymore. I think it's like out of stock and it's been out of stock for a while. Um, so hopefully they bring it back in stock. But uh, if you go on Amazon and just look for like quilling tool, you'll be able to find something similar to this. So it has like a little slit in the middle. I think that's what it's called. Um, so that way you put the paper flower, the rolled paper flower in there. So I'll show you. So once we have, this is the, the rolled paper flower, you're gonna wanna add it, like place it in there. You can see right there, it grabbed it. See that? And then you are just going to roll it. Roll it like that. If it's your first time, it takes a while kind of to, you know, get it, to get it like a technique going. Um, I like to make sure that the bottom part right here, oops, this bottom part is always like flat with all the paper. It's like lining up uh, to each other, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So again, I'm just rolling it 
just like that. I don't think I can read any comments, but if anyone's watching, just let me know where you're watching from. So the cut's done super fast. Again, that one's only two pieces, two, two rolled pieces. So, so I'm cut, I'm rolling still. Now, sometimes I do like to pull out the quilling tool and just continue the rolling myself. However, I'm just gonna show you the int like using the quilling tool. So you can see how I try to keep that bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that? Oops, right there. There you go. It's completely flat, or at least I try to keep it as flat as possible. This part right here. See that? So that's what you want to do is keep that um, as flat as possible. So I'm just going to roll it. Okay, now that it's like the end, pull the quilling tool, but make sure you're grabbing the flower still. Okay, then what we're going to do is flip it over. This little circle at the end, like this little piece right here, we're going to add glue here and then glue it to the base, but not yet because first we're going to just flip it over and then just like let it go a little bit. And by let it go, I mean like because it's so tight in there, you just want to be able to like, like this, just let it go a little bit, just like that. Keep going. And then I think I like it like that. See that? It's not super tight. The layers aren't like squeezed in together uh, in the center. And now we just add glue either to here or here. I suggest adding glue to here. Otherwise, if you're adding glue to here, maybe it could fall and then burn your finger. So don't do that. <laughs> I'm using this glue gun right here. It's the Lynn Lily by Sherbonder. And I'm just adding like, I don't know, like that. And then just gluing it to the bottom, to the base. And there you go. Look at that. It's about the same size. See that? Once you get the hang of it, um, you'll really, you'll be able to make them like almost identical. There are some other things that you can use to, um, what's the word, to like make sure that they're the same size. I don't remember what it's called, uh, but I can, once I find it, I can also put it in the description down below. So I'm just gonna continue rolling, rolling all of them. Uh, but first I'm gonna remove this. When I'm removing this, I don't really need this anymore. There's no use. For this, uh oh, it fell down. I mean, you can utilize like this piece of section right here, but I'll be honest, I probably won't be using this small section just because I can't think of what to use it for. Um, and I already have a lot of scrap uh, that I save. I typically save, I don't know, like 95% of my scraps. Okay, so I'm just going to remove it. If you have a, um, a little like spatula thingy you can use to remove these, just make sure that you don't rip any of the paper because it can be delicate. So let me see if I have, yeah, this one. I think this is the Cricut Joy spatula right here. So oopsies. I'm just going to grab it from a corner. Either you can go and follow, you know, follow the design. Just like that. Oh. There you go. And you were able to take it, take it out, or I was able to take remove it from my mat using the spatula, this Cricut spatula right here. So. I think, yeah, it, gosh, sometimes I forget the name of what like the tools are called, but I'm pretty sure it's called like a mini spatula. Okay, I am placing again another piece of cardstock on the mat and clicking on go. But before, before that, let me go back to design space and go back to mat four because otherwise if I do five, it's going to cut oh, oh 
it's going to cut those two and I don't really want to uh it would work but I think it's it's going over the 11 by a little bit so it would uh it would not um it would not be great so I'm just going to click keep it on Number four, because that's the one that I made sure that it was it stayed in inside the 8.5 by 11. So click on that one. Medium cardstock again. Change the pressure to more. And there, it's taking it from me. Okay. So I already have two of these. And I don't even remember how many I've cut already. But what I want to do is make a heart. So I want to uh, create a heart. Well, let's click on go. I want to create a heart using these rolled paper flowers. Um, let's see here. I feel like this would be the easiest thing to do right now if you're like thinking about what to do for Mother's Day. Uh, this would be the easiest paper flower to make right now. Uh, if you're going to make like some realistic flowers, that might take a while. So I wouldn't start that. Um, unless you want to, you know, roll an all-nighter, because they can take a while. I feel like the rolled paper flowers are the easiest, so. And you can find other designs, too, in Design Space. I can show you uh, here in a little bit, but, yeah. Again, what I'm doing is rolling, rolling, and rolling. Once you get the hang of it, you'll go super fast. The other thing is that I already got a paper cut right there. You might get paper cut, so I'm just going to pull it out because that won't hurt. Um, and I can finish it uh, on, with my, on my own without using the quilling tool. So look at that. It just it goes super fast. And that's what I'm saying. You can cut as many as you want. And you can create a design using, like, rolled paper flowers, which I think is pretty cool. I'm going to move the glue gun right there. See, now we have three. Again, we'll be making like a like a heart. See that? And this one's already done. So Ooh, that's kind of that's very satisfying. To me, that was like the easiest way to remove <laughs> the rolled uh, paper flower from the mat. But you just want to be careful because you could accidentally like fold the mat and then break the mat. So just just be very careful. But I like to kind of fold the mat a little bit like this, um, so I can take out each like, each layer and just it's just faster for me. But again, um, everyone does things differently. So I'm going to continue. I'm not going to be doing So the original shadow box that I created back in 2019, um, it's a, uh, what's it called? It has butterflies. Let me show you actually, because then you can see um, what I'm talking about. Because at first, when I was first showing it, I thought that um, I was showing you that you were that you were able to see it, but I don't think you could see it. So let me um, let me just show you. So let me just share my screen quick. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna click on go on my machine. So this is the one that I was um, talking about. This is the this is the blog post that I wrote in 2019. Yeah, 2019. I gotta change this because I just got a new logo. How exciting! Okay, so I wrote a blog on how to make your own shadow box using your Cricut Maker, and. Again, this was for Mother's Day last year, 20, or not last year, 2019. Jeez. Um, but this is the shadow box that I created with the help of my girls. As you can see, like this is their handwriting. So they wrote, not they, the oldest one wrote, I love you, Grandmama, on Procreate. And then I uh, saved that as a PNG. And then I uploaded that uh, image or design to... Um, Cricut Design Space, and I was able to cut it with the vinyl. 
So that, and that's on top of the shadow box. But this is what I was referring to. Like I made a heart using the paper rolled 3D paper uh, flowers, these little ones. Um, and then for the other side of the, the heart, I made like these little leaves, which I also designed. Uh, and then these butterflies, you can find them on uh, in Cricut Design Space. So these are all the materials. Earlier when I was showing, um, when I was showing like the, what's it called? When I was talking about this, I actually thought that you could see my screen. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, but yeah, this is what I was referring to. Like, these are the materials that you need, the quilling tool. Uh, I won't be making the exact same thing, but I do want to make a heart out of roll paper flower. So that's exactly what we're doing from beginning to end. It's going to take a while. So just hang in there. Uh, if you have any questions, you can let me know down in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Uh, but yeah, here, are, like all the instructions, uh, with photos and everything like that. That's the quilling tool right there. Um, and then I used a spray, this spray paint to um, spray like the backing of the shadow box. Cause it comes with this like fabric, like yeah, on the shadow box itself. I sprayed it with um, the silver lining color, color by color shot. It's metallic and it, it turned out okay. Um, and then I outlined a heart so I could like make sure that the heart is perfect using the 3D roll paper flowers, as you can see right there. I really love how this turned out it's super cute. And then I, pr I used print and cut uh, to do some butterflies and look at the precision that the Cricut Maker cut um, all those butterflies. So, and that's what I did with the butterflies and then vinyl. And then I put the vinyl on there and that was the end result. That was the final result. So anyway, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you earlier, but I thought that, I thought that you were able to see it. Clearly I was just like talking and talking. I didn't really notice that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. I closed it. So now let me go back to this right here. Cause this is done. I got to count how many I have because I think <laughs> I might've, uh, might've done too many now, but maybe not so oh let's see here but yeah i want to show you you know from beginning and end how to do that and in that blog post that i just shared you can uh open there's a link that i showed uh directly to design space to the images that i'm using like right now so this rolled paper flower so you can click on that um and it'll take you directly to that project it'll open up uh design space that specific project so and the sizing is ready for you and everything um if you want to make like these rolled paper flowers which again i think they're super super easy to make uh if you want to add like a shadow box or in in a shadow box i I've actually never done a um, bouquet out of the using these rolled paper flowers, but I kind of want to try, but I want to make them bigger. The only problem with that is that this is already pretty big, the size of my hand. My hands are pretty tiny to begin with, <laughs> but this is already pretty big for me. And you're able to fit two in a letter size paper, or you can fit four if you're using um, 12 by 12 uh, paper cardstock. Uh, but I kind of want to make like a gigantic one, but I don't think I'd be able to fit maybe one in a 12 by 12, but I feel like, I don't know, that would be a lot of, uh, waste of cardstock, <laughs> but maybe I give one a try and just see how big it turns out. I might do that because it'd be really cool to make these into like, put the stem, you know, and make them into and do a little bouquet out of these rolled paper flowers. So we'll see, I guess. Maybe that's something that I should try uh, next time. But again, as you can see, these are pretty, these are pretty easy, easy to make. I think for this one, I should have like kind of loosened the center a little bit more, but that's fine. There is, we have four, four so far. Now, let me count how many I actually have cut. So I have two right here, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. I have ten. So I have officially like to make <laughs> half of a, what's it called? Half of a heart based on that blog post that I just shared with you. But this goes super fast, guys. You can make this super fast. Oh, geez. And again, with these, you can easily get a paper cut. At least I, I know I get a paper cut every time I do. I do one because I'm holding it like this. And it's like going like this, my finger is. So, but it's fine. Oh, okay. Let me take it. Off. I make sure that it's really tight uh, when I'm like uh, turning these, and then just loosening it up like that. Ah, oh, this one I I rolled it too. Uh, I made it too loose in the center, but that's fine. That's fine. Oh, I can be such a perfectionist sometimes. Okay, I'm just going to add glue right there. Hot glue. You can also use other types of glue. I just prefer, for for this one, I prefer um, hot glue just because then it's, it adheres much, much faster because I'm trying to make these fast. So look at that. There is the beginning, the beginning of... A beautiful heart like I actually think that with these um, I actually think that we'll be able to make a full heart with just these ten pieces of uh, rolled paper flowers so again I'm just rolling them up super super uh, super super fast Maybe I should have timed, my, timed myself so you could see how long it takes to roll like one of these. But I mean, I'm doing them, doing it in real time. So you're able to see how long, you know, it, it takes. I like to think that I'm pretty quick only because I've been doing these for a while. <laughs> so, okay. I've also seen some people, um, here, I'll show you one second. Sometimes it's a struggle for me to multitask. Okay. I've also seen some people for the, like the last layer, which is this right here, right? This last layer of the paper flower. I've seen some people like bring it out like that. I don't personally, not my style. I don't, I don't like that obviously to each their own. I just prefer when they're all like up, upright like this. So, but that's just me. Um, look at that. We're almost done. Kind of, not really. <laughs> because there's so many. Um, here we go. Okay. They are tedious to make, obviously. But... They look so cute when it's up. And you can even do like a rainbow. A rainbow um, heart filled with these uh, paper flowers. Oh, I also made, uh, I don't remember when. It might have been in 2019 again. But I remember making these uh, like magnetic photo thingy. It's in my blog. You can find it. I don't remember the name though. Um, but I, I had used these um rolled paper flowers and i uh, put a picture of my brother with my i was gonna say niece but it's my daughter and my daughter so my brother and my and my daughter and i had uh put that on the fridge and it was a heart but in the middle of the heart it was a picture of of them um and it turned out super cute super super cute okay there you go. Look at that. Maybe I'll do it right here. 
So it's looking super, super, uh, it's coming together for sure. Again, these are really easy to make. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, again, you can find these, and I've already said in the beginning, but uh, I have a blog post on how to do like a, a shadow box full of these uh, ah, mini paper flowers, 3D rolled paper flowers. Uh, the image is from Design Space. There are so many other ones in Design Space as well. And by that, I mean like some of these are like spiky. I don't know, just different ones. This one for sure is my favorite. And all you need is, well, cardstock, glue stick, or a glue gun, sorry, and a quilling tool. So I'm using the quilling tool by Cricut. Like I was stating earlier too, that I don't think, uh, I haven't seen it in stock on Cricut's website, but if you go to Amazon and just search quilling tool, you'll, you'll see some. So there we go. Super cute. I could also do the outline like I did in my blog post, um, making so that way the heart is, you know, perfect, but we'll see. What I might do after this one, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the live. However, uh, I will come back again once I have all of these rolled and um, then we can finish it by adding the vinyl on top. So now you know how to do, how to, you know, roll them up. And I showed you my trick on how to get like the perfect paper flower, not too open, but also not too tight. Um, I've been doing these rolled paper flowers for such a long time now um, that I've perfected and I kind of get them to be the same the same size at least that's that's the goal for for me um so once it's again one of the things that I shared earlier was that once you're done make sure that it's really tight you can see that it's tight right there like it's super tight don't let it go you are going to like like hold it like that and then slowly as you're holding the the like the outside just let it go slowly and roll it, roll the center just a little bit, not too much. Cause you don't want to, uh, you don't want to have it super loose either. So just see it and then like, okay, I like that size. Once you like that size, then add glue to the back. These, all of these have like this little like circle in the back and that's the base. And then you glue it, you glue it to the, um, to the rolled paper flower like this. Super cute. Again, these are so easy to make. So I'm almost done with the heart, but I just, I'm gonna, here, just a second before I leave actually. This is the circle piece that I'm referring to. It's the one in the center. That's like the last piece. And that's the base of these uh, 3D rolled paper flowers. So this center right here, that is where you'll put the glue on and then you uh, ah, to the back of the flower like this. That's how the back looks. They turn out super cute. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish rolling the paper flowers. Once I'm done, I'm going to come back here on YouTube and uh, I'm going to finish it with adding vinyl to the shadow box so we can have a beautiful shadow box with paper flowers inside the shadow box. Uh, it's going to look super cute. So <laughs> I will, um, yeah, let me see. I will see you in a little bit. So hang on tight. I, let me get these done and then I'll sign back in and, uh, so we can finish the vinyl part. But now you know how to roll the perfect paper flower. As you could see, like they're literally all the same size. You can see that I didn't use any tools besides the quilling tool, but that doesn't really help with um, making sure that each of these come out the same size. Uh, so, cause it really depends. You could have it really, really open if you 
uh, loosen it up a lot. Or like, for example, this one's a little bit different, these two in, in size comparison. Uh, but as you get better, you will make them almost like the same size. So I hope that was helpful. Again, come back in like maybe 10 minutes. Give me 10 minutes so I can finish rolling these paper flowers and then we will add the vinyl to the shadow box. Something Mother's Day, some type of Mother's Day message, adding it to um, to the shadow box. And that should be easy because it's just cutting and then transferring, using transfer tape and transferring over to the shadow box, to the screen. So I'll do that, but I'll see you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments below, but I'll see you in like 10-ish minutes.